Welcome to this new video. This video we are going to discuss about getting data by using SQL views in Power BI. So you know when you select the get data, we will get an option for getting the data through SQL Server. So instead of getting the entire table, if you already have certain views which you have saved in the SQL database for reporting, you can just select that views and we can get that views into the data Power BI and you can create the report very easily. It will be easy for the Power BI developer to develop the reports with respect to the views instead of taking all the data from the SQL server. So when you go into the detail of the view, views can be defined as a virtual or logical table. See, views means okay, it is not a table. It is a collection of different tables which will be stored in a virtual table. The view is a query that is stored in the database and returns the result set of the query in which it is defined. The query that defines the view can be composed of one or more tables or similar. View never stores data, only it fetches the result of the query in which it is defined. So through views, you can't enter the data into the table, but you can get that fetch the data from the table and you can show it. So in Power BI, we obviously we are going to get the data from the SQL server. So this will be a good good way of getting the data because in the view, if you are creating views, especially for the report with respect to the report, what we need to the report. So you can simply extract that view to the Power BI and you can just start analyzing and take it to the top. So this is one simple way to create views in an SQL server. You can, there will be a view folder called views. You can right click on the views and you can create the new view and all the tables will be shown in the views and you can select which are tables you need. Now you have selected the categories table and the product table which has been related and whatever fields we need, you can select it and what are the fields we wanted. We just selected the fields and SQL Server automatically generated the view query for that. And then if you right click and execute it, you will be getting the table, whatever we need. And this exact table will be shown or when we, when we get the data from this view, this exact table you will be getting in the Power BI. So this is what happens when we go and get the data. We can save the view in the database itself. And when we go to the SQL server, you give the server name, you give the database name. And here you can just select start from whatever view. Or if you want to get one day the product name from this view, okay, you can select select product name from this view. Instead of giving product select start from the table name, you can just give the view name and exact this view with the combination of multiple tables will be loaded to the data to the power bi so we will see an example of that first we will go to sql server and here sql server we are going to deal with not in database and here we have a lots of tables we are having and we are going to get only this product table and we are going to get orders table not orders table product table and category table because these two tables are related also so here is the view folder inside the view folder there are lots of views that are created you can right click and it and you can select the top thousand rows and this is the view category category name, product name, quantity of the product, unit in stock, discontinued, all these things you are going to. We are going to deal with two views, that is category views we are going to create now. And we, we are not going to select the views from the view table, which is already selected. We will create the view. You can right click here, create new view, and we are going to take this categories, just select add, and now we are going to get the product. So we we'll just select add, close it. So in this category and product, it has been connected by using a category ID. Both the table is having category. ID so it has been connected by category ID one as primary key and another one as for now since we have selected both the tables it has altered automatically created a query select what all things that we need to select it from this category in a join the products but category ID is equal to product category you can create a view by writing a query also so if you want to write create a view by writing a query you can write it as create view and a view name as statement statement is exact this statement you can write. select whatever fields we need whatever columns we need sql statement you can write now this is one easy method of uh, creating the view instead of writing you can simply select and you can get the view first you will select the category name so when you select the category name it will be added here now we need the product name also we will get the unit price and then we will select whether it is continued or discontinued. So we are not going to write anything, just they have written everything. We will just right click here and we will execute it. You can see the result here. If you don't want to execute it or we can just save it also. But now when you are creating a view, you can write it as create view, view name as and this statement you have to write it under the the statements so now we are not writing anything we will just just execute and see execute SQL. and this is the table which we got category name product name 
unit price and whether it is can discontinue or continue this is a product which you are going so now we can uh, save the view we can press control s and we will give it as product categories and product view so you can refresh this view folder definitely it will be here somewhere we have product by category now we have selected this one product category product view this is the one which we created just now categories underscore product view. if you want to see the view which you have created you can just your category name product name unit price and whether it is continued or discontinued. so if you want to write a query for it you can write a query as select start from dbo dot category underscore product underscore view so you have written the query as select start from dbo categories underscore product underscore view of course it is not recognized because it takes time to recognize for the new table that's why it is showing as invalid object name but the result has been shown because when you execute it the result is coming so we are going we are getting the category name product name unit price and it is continuing this much if suppose the products uh, problem statement is only this much columns you need for getting or uh, for creating the report can create a view here itself and you can just get the data from this view sort of by getting the entire table there and do the transformation or do the modeling there. create the view here itself and you can get the data from the view so you have to remember only thing is that you need to remember this name tpo categories product view so now we are going to go to the power bi now we will get the data so we can give the server name you can give the database name also so obviously if you are going to give the sql statement here definitely you need to give the database name so this is the view which we have created so we can do the statement as select start from this view so we need to give the database name correctly and you need to give the sql statement and the sql statement should be the query should be not with respect to the table it should be with respect to the views which you have created this is the view you have created and with the, this view is having two tables and we have used an inner join to combine these two tables and to get these four columns so here we are going to give the view and we will select ok and of course we got the same table here and if you want to transform it you can transform it but right now since everything is fine you can directly load it if you want to transform it and change the name because the name of the table here will be different so you can transform the data if you want now in this power query you can change the name of the table and give the name it has sample view so obviously the table name has changed and now since nothing has can be no need of doing anything in this table you can directly close and apply so whatever we need and we need the category from category table and we can we got the product name unit price and whether the product is discontinued from the product table now we will close and apply so now we got the data set and this data set is just a view from the sql server and you can create the report according to this view you can select the category you can select the product name and unit price you can get the total unit price you can create a pie chart and and in this pie chart you can give the unit price how much how much you got the how much was the cost of the ones which got discontinued and the one which this is not getting discontinued and even you can use a slicer also where you can select the category thing then with this respect you can create a report like this you can select the categories also and everything will be changed with respect to the slicer category name so this is one example we have done by getting the data from views sql views from sql server so hope this will help you to do more power bi reports by getting views from by creating and getting views from sql or any other database have a nice day